This is Rise of the Tomb Raider. We're on Xbox Series X. The game inherits its Xbox One X enhancements. So we get three options here for how the game can play, including throwing the chickens. So you go to the option setting. All of them have HDR support. So we've got a native 4K resolution at 30 FPS. Then there's enriched visuals. It is also a 4K resolution. Uh, at 30 fps but with an improved environmental aspect and then we've got high frame rate which is like way lower resolution i think it's like 1080 or something like that but we do get this really sleek and fluid level of you know kind of frame rate it, it looks fantastic in regards to just like how smooth it plays i guess it can't look like that but you get the gist of what i'm saying it just it feels a lot better when you have this option on and yeah it's kind of neat to experience and it really comes up to your this poor chicken comes up to your personal preferences in regards to how you want to experience this sort of thing because it is single player i don't think it's necessarily a bad choice to jump in here and actually just engage with the you know the higher resolution quality that's something actually i think i played through on this one when i was checking it out before but uh yeah it's totally up to you and how you want to experience it in this world and everything like that because if it is single player so it's like it doesn't really matter and it's just personal preference so yeah this is actually a really great entry in the series this is the second one in the rebooted sort of survival Lara croft obviously everything runs very smoothly here it looks fantastic and it's just kind of a, a rich well done world that continues her journey so she's no longer this completely you know fresh oh no no chicken oh my bad She's now a little bit more of a confident individual. She's not just like freshly being crashed onto an island with no idea uh, what's going on. And I think that's kind of really interesting in terms of character development. She's now a little bit more you know, understanding of what she needs to do. She's out there looking for Trinity and trying to figure out, you know, what happened to her father and the surrounding, you know, kind of incident and everything that has to do with that aspect of her life. And yeah she's just kind of battling against this force that she's trying to understand and uncover uh, across this you know new sort of landscape it's actually quite a well done narrative and something I, I certainly loved this was actually one of the first kind of reviews i think i did with microsoft back in the day it was really exciting because i love the first game so much so to check this one out early and everything like that was a huge deal for me at the time it, it truly was quite a great experience and uh, a lot of fun at that. Am I? I'm gonna get the kind of thing going there. I guess it's more of like a swing rope I'm doing. But yeah, so this one's also interesting because it's you know it's it's very linear in nature, but you get all of these kind of open world environments that you can check out afterwards and explore. Because I've done the story at this point, and you know there's optional challenge tunes I can do, and tons and tons of collectibles to find. Uh, across the world which is exciting and you know you can like level up your gear and sort of hunt and find things i think there's usually maybe boars around here i don't know at this particular point uh, definitely some chickens but yeah it's just kind of a really lovely sort of experience in terms of what you do in it and i do think the campaign is quite gripping you know the enemies you have to fight the things you have to do to get um, the job done it, it's really quite an amazing sort of experience it's certainly worth your time if you've never played it before it's an absolute blast a, a treasure a really good sort of experience that was a uh, timed exclusive i guess you could say for uh, xbox at its initial release then they did like all these different sort of iterations and things that added extra content to it expanded the scope of the experience and i think some really important and interesting ways uh, definitely worth checking out that DLC if you've been curious about it. But yeah, it's just sort of this really well done sort of world and environment. You can see I've kind of like upgraded my, you know, weapons to a degree and improved them for battle and all that. And the combat you're gonna face off against others. I just think it's a, a really well done sort of experience that has so many luscious and gorgeous environments that you can visit. I really did think it was a perfect game for its time. I definitely was impressed by it and the scope of what it provides. And, you know, some of the extra challenge type things that you can do, even outside of the tombs, you know, this had a lot of different types of gameplay to it. And Lara's obviously a little bit more 
I guess you could say savage in regards to what she does. And then in the third one, whoa, she uh, she really gets a little bit more buffed up in that one. It's just a, a neat sort of different environment, you know, they, they really do also mix things up quite a bit in that regard, because you're not just going through, uh, I guess you could say, like this nice sort of mid-tier um, sort of environment, like it gets like cold and there's like a whole sand opening thing too. It, it's kind of very, very well done in that regard. Oh, and the crafting and everything like that. Oh, we're missing arrowheads. That's not good. I guess we still got the one bow. But yeah, you get lots of different neat ways to sort of tackle situations. And I hope I've been kind of showing off the different um, sort of visual options that are present in this one, kind of mixing it up a little bit so you can see that in action. But yeah, it's just a very, very well done game. I guess we should kill those guys. I thought we were going to flank around here, but not the case. And it, it's neat how it plays around with the element of, you know, kind of doing stealth and attacking things, and it's sort of like a seamless experience in regards to how you move through it, the things you do, the combat, and everything like that. Wow, yeah, the <laughs> the fluidity helps a lot when you're doing, you know, combat segments, uh, which I wasn't expecting there to still be individuals around here. But yeah, you're, you're just kind of being this a little bit more tough, more aggressive Lara that's still trying to figure out her way in the world, but definitely is a lot more confident in what she's trying to achieve and what she's trying to do. I just, I really thought this was a truly great sort of release. It was, it was a lot of fun to play. It, stunning, stunning environments for its time. And I think even now, you know, visually, this one holds up almost perfectly. And you travel via these... I guess you could say fires that you find everywhere, and there's lots of different resources to collect. The game just offers a, a lot of, you know, unique environments and things you can do, and it's it's something that. Um, what is with the? What's with that? That's that's a bit weird. I don't think I have any extra arrows for what I need there, but seriously, it's just it's certainly something that is worth checking out if you've never you know, played the series. Start with the first one, though. It, it's certainly worth it to, you know, get that original Definitive Edition sort of journey as you're seeing this character and how she grows. The the newer story that they set up for her is just absolutely fantastic. Very vulnerable, but yet slowly tougher growing character, and I absolutely love this franchise. I, I really do. They, they did such a perfect job with the character development and the set pieces and what you sort of experience as you battle through this world. I guess we should change the visual option again. Sort of really enjoying the the fluidity though, if you get what I mean. But it, it really was like such a benchmark and it all runs so perfectly smooth now as you would kind of expect with the extra, you know, overhead. I mean, it, I thought it ran perfectly fine on the 1X, but with the Series X there really isn't any sort of issues at all. I mean, you just get a a clean cut sort of experience and world that you can visit and run through with different areas. I sort of want to go almost to the the colder, I think it's like the Siberian wild or something like that. There's like this more intense uh, area here. I guess we could look at the map. Ooh, so many documents and stuff. So we should probably go to the base camp over there so that we could uh, get that handled. But yeah, it's, it's seriously, it's just such a, a well done, and I think surprising sort of game. It's not really something that you would expect when you're working through it, but you'll definitely love the character and the, um, you know, sort of like puzzle solving. And then you get all the collectibles too, if you're somebody that wants to go in and, you know, find all these extra things. Because there's so many different things that I haven't actually even spent the time collecting yet. If, if I really wanted to, I could just you know, spend hours back here trying to find everything I can and, and really trying to explore the full depth of what the environment has to offer, which I think is quite a bit. It's such a, a gripping time, such a well done sort of setup. And I, I guess at the same time, I'd, I'd really like to see what they could do if they were to, you know, maybe boost things a little bit further. Oh yeah, and you kind of learn like proficiencies in the languages too with the different things you discover along the ways, which is kind of fun. I get some feathers. Stunning, stunning environments. Ooh. And again, the challenge tomb is kind of a fun little thing. Like the puzzles in this one, you know, it usually it takes a second or two depending on the puzzle or some of them you just flow through. But yeah, I think it just offers a lot. Ooh, the little chipmunk thing. Or is that a squirrel? I don't know. I just, I really did like this one. But I do want to show off a little bit of a more frosty area. And yeah, upgrading stuff, different types of like costumes and everything for her to use. 
what am I thinking of? Not the copper mill specifically. Copper mill lumber yard, the logging camp, or the hidden refuge sheltered camp. I think this is where I wanted to head. And you know, you've got like the expeditions, and you got this like gorgeous character model here. A, a great, great performance. It, it really was absolutely fantastic. So many like visual improvements though, too. The volumetric lights, the reflections that were improved, the enhanced foliage, the upgraded polygonal detail improved anti-aliasing, amplified texture filtering. It just really does present a, a much better looking world, a, a much more exciting sort of, you know, location that you get to visit as this character trying to discover really more of who she is and the type of world that she's been thrust into across these adventures. And I, I hope I haven't really spoiled anything. I, I don't think that I've shown off anything story-wise, though, because that's really important for me as well, is that you could uh, jump in here and, you know, experience this for the first time. I, maybe I should have put on some warmer-type clothing for her. I mean, kind of looks like she's freezing, this one. Yeah, and I really love this one for, like, the subtle details, the effects of how she sort of um, reacted with the environment and how she sort of touch certain things as she goes through it, like reacts to fire and all that. I think it's kind of fascinating. The lighting looks like weirdly washed out in this particular area. I'm not sure why. Maybe it's just the setting for the lighting for this day, time of day or something, but yeah, it's interesting. But it's probably not showing up to you just due to how this is recording. But yeah, you get to visit these unique locations and, you know, really just try to lean into that survival element of this character and explore so many neat locations and so bad things soldiers. along the way so and also a little bit more of the mystery and the history that's going around in this like, location all the things you have to deal with and those action pack scenes along the way as well so i hope you enjoyed this look at uh, you, you know rise of the tomb raider which i still think is such a, a great game it's definitely worth your time the whole trilogy is beautiful and i, I hope that we do eventually get to see this character expanded upon in the future because I do think there's more for this character to do. I think there's more that she needs to set out and uh, accomplish and I I love this style of gameplay. I think they hit um, sort of the perfect design and mark for her in terms of who she is and what they've tried to really provide over time and that is, you know, Rise of the Tomb Raider. What a great game. What a perfect experience.